And as we get going now at 8.30 on the Fox 9 Morning News, once the snow stops falling, there's still plenty of work to be done clearing all the streets and sidewalks. And in order to do that, many cities have already declared snow emergencies that will last the next few days, and that includes Minneapolis and St. Paul. And this morning, we're joined by St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter to see where things stand in the capital city. Good morning, Mayor Carter. Morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Uh, overall, this winter, we know it has been frustrating for those who have to park out on the street. So uh, what is your message to them this morning? It certainly has been frustrating. And you said the snow continues after the or the work uh, starts after the snow stops. Uh, the work has already started. We're really pleased by last night from an operations perspective. It went about as, as well as it could be expected. Uh, our drivers are on pace to finish their night plow routes by 9 a.m. We had, uh, I think, just almost uh, 350 cars take us up on our offer of free parking in our city-owned ramps. Uh, and we've been able to get through because people kind of did that. Um, obviously, as a uh, meteorologist just shared, it's gonna, it's, it's still snowing and it's gonna get a lot colder here and the wind is blowing snow around. So we still need people help. We still need people staying off of the plow routes uh, so that we can get through the city. And, and walk us through the next 48 hours, if you could. Uh, what can people living in St. Paul expect to see from the Public Works Department? Uh, that's a great question because, of course, it's difficult to plow a, a storm that just continues to uh, snow like this at the rate that it has. Uh, frankly, one of the challenges is some of the streets that we plowed last night, folks probably woke up and looked and looks and feels like they weren't plowed. Uh, what's important uh, in this first phase is making sure that emergency vehicles can still get through our city. Uh, we had a, a house fire at about 2.30 2 in the morning, uh, and our fire crews were able to get there just fine, uh, cleared out, uh, no injuries to, uh, to residents or to firefighters. That's really critical for us. Um, as, we could, as the snow continues, our job is to fight it back and to continue to fight it back. Uh, and of course, once it uh, stops, that's when we'll get a chance to actually clear it from our streets uh, permanently. Uh, but this is a, 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 a this is going to require all in effort from us as a city. Yeah, it, as you mentioned, I mean, speaking of fires, it's important if you can clear out your fire hydrant to let those fire departments get through. If there is a fire, that's so important. Um, let's talk about the preparation efforts leading up to this system. And it, it seems that you're comfortable that you feel that all this planning has paid off. Uh, I definitely feel like all the planning has paid off. A double snow emergency like we're doing right now uh, has uh, is is really unusual. Uh, but one of the things that we really wanted to do is get ahead of it and communicate with folks ahead of it uh, so that people could plan, so that people could know in advance uh, that, you know, uh, we're going to have two snow emergencies back to back uh, so they could plan for where to put their car. They could plan for how to how to do things, as a, how to uh, get their stuff together so they can be ready to sort of hunker down at home. Uh, and it really feels like our community has worked together in the way that we have to when we experience an extreme weather event like this. Right. This is what we have to do when mm -hmm. we get something like this. Uh, Mayor Carter, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it this morning. Thanks for having me on. Our pleasure. You bet. Thank you.